Good afternoon. This is one of these days that I'm not particularly happy to be doing the news. Um, by the way, no Bible chapter again today. I've been a bit busy keeping up with the news. I did finish um, the book series by Angry American. Um, some call it the Going Home series. Some call it the Survivalist series. There's nine books in all uh, at this point. Uh, there's another one in the writing right now. Uh, absolutely incredible. I will do a, a full review of uh, the book series uh, at some point in the real, real near future. That's if I get the chance. Um, you know, I, I'm I'm just I'm watching the news and in disbelief. I really am. Some of the stuff I can't even fathom. Um, it's it's literally got me speechless. Uh, a lot of the same stuff that I had talked about before um, is coming to light again. And real quick, uh, I'm going to do the housekeeping as I've been doing here lately uh, because it's important. It helps. It, it really, really helps. Uh, the auto ads are back working on the site, so those that feel so uh, inclined, uh, please click an ad. That's all you got to do. Click an ad. You don't have to fill nothing out, buy nothing, do anything. Just click the ad. It registers it. Uh, the auto ads are back working, so they are kind of throughout the website now, uh, thewatchmannews.com. Uh, and I'm telling you, it's it's helping. I, I know evil's clicking, and uh, I don't know if anybody else is clicking out there. But uh, like today, a dollar eighty, and I, I don't know how many. I, I don't remember how many clicks I said yesterday. Um, so I, I I can't tell you what I'm getting per click or anything like that. I don't know. Um, but today, so far, it says a dollar eighty. So and I noticed I think that varies a little bit from day to day. But it helps. It helps. The uh, the faster we can do this, um, the better. And um. We really want that goal of getting uh, to start out getting blue that trailer, getting a solar charge controller. Unfortunately, Wally World on the uh, on the trailers is now sold out um, for now. So I'm gonna keep an eye on it. Um, the sad thing is, this is the crazy, crazy sad thing. I probably deleted the email because um, I often delete the emails. Uh, let me real quick. Uh, this this is crazy. Let me real quick pull this up, and we're going to be kind of SOL on this one, I fear, but uh, it is what it is. Here it is. I found it. Let me bring it up, and uh, I put it in my watch list just in case. Check that out. It's the uh, the one step above the one we're wanting for actually cheaper than that one. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. So yeah, that that thing's like 250 bucks roughly, um, and they've got it for 55 dollars plus 20 dollars shipping. So that's uh, 75 dollars. And check this out: uh, 253.50, 242.80, 282.96. <laughs> so yeah, that's a hell of a deal. I don't know how or why that guy's got that thing that cheap. Um, but with 98% positive feedback and 1,604 sales under his belt, um, I would say it's legit. So, wow. So, I'm hoping that everything goes okay. I added this to my watch list, and uh, I'm really, really hoping. I told you guys about a solar charge controller real quick before we get started with the uh, ugly stuff. Let me uh, Let me show you the one I was looking at. I told you it was uh, inexpensive. Uh, and this is it, but there's a cheaper one. Um, probably here, I'm thinking. I was looking at a 20 amp. So yeah, roughly 30 bucks. Uh, this one's 33.39. I found it for like 29.99 for the 20 amp. Uh, that's going to be plenty. But that's the unit right there that uh, that I was looking at. So definitely want a MPPT though over a, a PWM, much uh, much different, mucho difference. But uh, anyway, let me uh, let me get off that. 
So we're getting there. Again, this number won't update until the end of the month. It'll get this added to it. And uh, once we hit that $100 threshold, um, that'll be close enough that uh, uh, I think we'll be able to actually do both, to be honest. So that's the current goal. And like I told you guys, I'm going to keep this completely transparent, everything we do. And and, and I get that it's not, uh, you know, that it's... Um, you know, it's ad clicks and stuff like that. But I want to be different than uh, than other channels, right? Um, I definitely, uh, I'm definitely not doing this to build a TV wall and telling you guys that my computers were hacked and I've got to repair all of them and I won't mention any names. But uh, yeah, I, I, I'm not down with that and I'm not about that and I'm not going to do that. So let's start out with the news, and I want to start out with this, which I believe is the last thing I tweeted, but it's the first thing that I'm going to talk about. Now, this website, DEFCONMORNINGSYSTEM.COM, has no official capacity. Okay, let me repeat that. DEFCONMORNINGSYSTEM.COM has no official capacity. Okay, it's not operated by the government or anyone even really government affiliated, but it is highly educated people. And they don't take things lightly, and they do not change their DEF CON status um, unless they feel that there is an absolute 110% need to change that status. And uh, at this point, it would appear that, uh, that they feel that they have that need. I have to respect that. Um, so, here's the thing. Let me go ahead and read the article. Now, they, they updated this yesterday, and it flew under my radar. I didn't catch it until today. But let me go ahead and read this, and uh, I figured this would, it would be a better way to go about it by reading this and then going through uh, the news today. Huh. DEF CON warning system update yesterday's date. This is the DEF CON warning system. Alert status for 1.30 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, Tuesday, April 10th, 2018. Condition code is blue. DEF CON 4. There are, no uh, there are currently no imminent nuclear threats against the United States at this time. However, there are events occurring in the world theater which require closer monitoring. The recent chemical attack in Syria has placed both Russia and the United States into a position of possible armed conflict. While each side accuses and denies, we are beyond who's actually responsible and almost to the point of crisis intensifying independently and creating its own inertia. There are various reports of military assets being moved into position and both Russia and Syria believe that a strike by the United States is imminent. And I'm going to add the UK. I'll cover that here in a moment. Both Russia and the United States have spoken in strong terms regarding this incident. The United States has stated that it must take decisive action and Russia has stated that it will respond aggressively against any attacker. Each has placed itself into a position in which it must take action and anything less will be seen as weak or lack of resolve. The DEF CON warning system is currently monitoring the position of military assets. While we do not believe the situation in Syria will be anything more than it has in the past, we feel that a raise in the alert level is a prudent precaution at this time. The DEF CON warning system is a private intelligence organization which has monitored and assessed nuclear threats against the United States by national entities since 1984. It is not affiliated with any government agency and does not represent the alert status of any military branch. The public should make their own evaluations and not rely on the DEF CON warning system for any strategic planning. At all times, citizens are urged to learn what steps to take in the event of a nuclear attack. If this had been an actual attack, the DEF CON warning system will give radiation readings for areas that are reported to it. Your readings will vary. Official news sources have radiation readings for your area. For immediate updates, go to www.defconwarningsystem.com. Breaking news and important information can be found on the DEF CON Warning System Community Forum and on the DEF CON Twitter feed, uh, DEF CON WS Alerts. 
You may also subscribe to DEFCON Warning System mailing list. The next scheduled update is 2 p.m. Pacific Time, May 1, 2018. Additional updates will be made as the situation warrants with more frequent updates at higher alert levels. So I wanted to start out with that because I think it's uh, pretty um, pretty telling with the stuff that I'm going to tell you that's happened since they put this out. Going to start out here. You guys have probably heard this. I don't know if I mentioned it on the show last night or not, but I'm going to start out with it. I'm just going to read through the headlines. U.S. Navy destroyer is now off Syrian coast with 60 Tomahawk missiles. That comes from AmericanMilitaryNews.com. A helicopter crashes in Russian city of Kavrovsk. I can't say these names. Casualties reco- reported. It is an MI-8. And um, apparently he had a hard landing, but I, I, I thought that was kind of important because we've had a lot of military aircraft crashes. Russia to respond instantly if its troops in Syria hit by U.S. strike. Any U.S. missiles fired at Syria will be shot down, launch sites targeted, says the Russian envoy to Lebanon. Algerian military plane crash reportedly kills all people aboard. I believe that's the same crash there. 500 patients exhibiting signs and symptoms of chemical poisoning in Duma, says the World Health Organization. And there's another one in a moment to deal with that. Military plane crashes in Serbia. Uh, Trump says, get ready, Russia. Missiles will be coming nice and new and smart. He tweeted that. By the way, I just, no good can come from this. And and I'm not just talking about within Syria. I think it's going to be much broader than that. Much, much broader. Let's see. Moscow to Trump. Are smart missiles an attempt to destroy alleged Kim attack evidence in Syria? Did I not say that yesterday? Did I not say that yesterday? That I felt like that was going to be a tactic. They were going to wipe out the area. They were going to wipe out Duma. So that uh, so that these investigators can't go in and get any evidence one way or another. U.S. using fabrications and lies as excuse to target Syria, says Damascus. Syrian opposition to launch counteroffensive after possible U.S. strike. Soil examination in Duma didn't show any poisonous substances, says the Russian Ministry of Defense. So see, apparently there's already people getting samples out of there and testing it. That's what I'm saying. And I, I sorry, but with, with just the trend of the way it's normally gone, I tend to believe that. I tend to believe that. Let's not forget about the whole baby incubator thing and all that with Bush Sr. Let's not forget about that stuff. It's important. And again, I can bring up the CNN video with Charles Jaco. If uh, if, if you think we're not... And that was back in the same time period. Putin receives diplomatic credentials from ambassadors. A Theresa May blames Syrian government for alleged chemical attack. Two blasts hit Saudi capital, Ridya. Putin says the world is getting more chaotic, but we hope that common sense will prevail. Kremlin says Russia is not part of Twitter di- diplomacy. We expect a serious approach. Yeah, he, I, I guess, uh, you know, I, I guess that that like Putin doesn't want to have like a rap battle with Eminem. He doesn't want to have a Twitter battle with with <laughs> with Trump. You know, I I don't think he sees uh, much good from that, and I don't either. <laughs> Yo, Zuckerberg says Facebook hasn't seen Russian or Chinese activity to scrape data. Well, no, because they've been doing it themselves. NSA, FBI. They've been the ones scraping the data. Iran vows to stand with Damascus against foreign aggression. 
That's something to remember there. I ran, uh, I ran, I, I know that there are many times that things are said coming from Iran. But for a long time, in fact, pretty much as long as I can remember, uh, that's all it's ever been. It's been talk. It's, it's, it's like the bickering that North Korea had done for years. But I think backs are against the wall here. Let's not forget the actual target. The actual target is Iran. The real target isn't Syria. It's Iran. Saudi defense intercepts missile over Nauran. Uh, north of Syria, this is the NATO E3 Sentry AWACS. And it's been, uh, from my understanding, flying around for a while. U.S. still assessing intel on alleged Duma chemical attack, says General Mattis. Now, that was, I tweeted that five hours ago. There's going to be more on that in a moment. Uh, cue the chemical weapon stunt in Syria. Gunmen fire at Russian journalists returning from eastern Ghouta. Thought that was interesting too. U.S. officials claim Syrian military repositioning air assets. Well, yeah, you're getting ready to bomb them. Putin urges Netanyahu to avoid actions that destabilize Syria's sovereignty. Because somebody's got to put a stop to this. They have to. They have to draw that line in the sand. They absolutely have to. Somebody has to. Somebody has to in our foreign affairs. And damn it, somebody needs to in our domestic affairs. The line needs to be drawn. Period. May ready to allow UK participation in airstrikes in Syria. You'll see, UK is getting involved, but it's going to get worse here in a moment. Yulia Skripal says Sergei Skripal is still seriously ill. White House says Trump holds Russia and Syria responsible for Duma chemical attack. So I guess they've already did their assessment and they, without a doubt, beyond a shadow of a doubt, have convicted, convicted not just Syria, but Russia too. Not just Syria, but Russia too. Don't you find that interesting? I find it very, very interesting. UK submarines sent within missile range of Syria for strikes. I mean, it's on. Russia appears to be readying for naval battle with the US near Syria, but it could be a bluff. That's um, from Business Insider. Pentagon scrubs Iraq, Afghanistan, and Syria troop numbers from latest report. Now, I had said not real, real long ago, um, when Trump was sending more troops over there, I had I had told people, because they were saying how many troops are over there, and I'm like, no, there's more than that. And the reason why is because they have to rearm, resupply, retrain um, ISIS, essentially, or whatever name they want to put on the people over there that's causing all the problems. So, yeah, without a doubt. You know, they need people over there. Plus, they're getting ready to invade. They've been getting ready to invade for a long time now. This isn't something that just just spawned up. Now, Wall Street's worried about real uh, real war, says CNN Money. And uh, real quick, we are going to go to Market Watch here. Huh. And it was down. We'll see. Uh, yep. Uh, the Dow is down 218.55 points. Uh, S&P 500 down 14.68 points. NASDAQ down 25.27 points. Global Dow down 6.96 points. Uh, gold is up 10.9 points. Oil is up 1.23 points. And let's take a peek at cryptos here. So uh, Bitcoin is up 0.88 points, which isn't a lot. Um, at all. In fact, I haven't seen Bitcoin really recover much uh, from its fall, unlike uh, what certain individuals on YouTube that want you to buy up Bitcoin um, are saying. 
So that's what I have along the lines of uh, news from Syria. Now, uh, I'm going to real quick, uh, we'll bring up RT, we'll bring up uh, Sputnik here, and we'll see what they have on their uh, on their home pages. I don't really see anything new right sticking out right uh, at the top here. So let's check Sputnik. Uh, let's see. Barrage of F-A-18s launched from U.S. Navy carrier in South China Sea. That's interesting. Well, well, folks, you know, I'm going to say it. I think within the next 24 hours, hell, I think within the next 12 hours, we are going to see a strike on Syria. I'm not saying it's necessarily going to be from the United States. It could very well be from the UK. Uh, but I think that's going to be the beginning of something that none of us want to see. I don't think it's going to escalate to that level uh, in the blink of an eye. This is all opinion, by the way. Um, but I haven't been real far off on any of this stuff the entire time. Uh, I think it's going to be a little tit, tat, tit for tat for a little bit. And uh, and then I think it's going to get serious at some point. Um, whether I think there will actually be thermal nuclear warfare involved, I don't know. Um, if there is, I think, uh, I think it could um, be limited to Syria. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Now, uh, I do believe... As you guys should know by now, I fully and firmly believe that we have an EMP in store for us. And uh, this could very well be the event that sparks that. So, once again, I'm going to say it. Put on the damn helmet. Do what you can to get ready. Get your houses in order. If you've got some things that you can do, um, that, that you need to, some loose ends you need to tie up. You better get them tied up. Um, I was talking with the neighbor earlier and had just a, kind of a comical thing I had stated to her, but serious at the same time. With all this stuff, because everything's not about Syria. We've got a lot of other stuff going on too. And just kind of as a crazy thought, today was the second day that uh, Zuckergate uh, was, uh, was, was speaking. And... Um, could you imagine if Mr. Zucker Schmuck got uh, upset and just flipped the switch on Facebook? Could you imagine? Seriously. I know a lot of people would be like, oh, that 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 would actually be a good thing. And, and yeah, you're right. It probably would be a good thing. But the initial shock would be so enormous. Can you imagine the psychological impact that would happen instantly? I mean, you would be having people literally go postal. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. There's a lot of people that that's where their contact with friends and loved ones are. Well, not necessarily loved ones, but friends. I've got a ton of friends that my only contact with them is Facebook. I don't have their phone number. I don't have their Instagram. I, I don't have any other contact information for them. Just Facebook. And so if Facebook or the Internet just disappeared today, um, I may never be able to communicate with them again. Not that I necessarily communicate a lot with them now, but I do pay attention. I do scroll through my news feed and, you know, take note of uh, things that go on in their lives. It's not that I don't care. I'm just not Mr. Sociable. And um, I just thought about the psychological impact and, and what could happen uh, in, a, in a very short amount of time if they flipped the Facebook switch. So very interesting thought, very interesting note. I'm going to keep the monologue a little short today because the longer that I make it, the less people that will watch it. And it's not about views, but it is about spreading information. And I want people to spread the information. So please do so. 
not necessarily my video, anything. Uh, you can go, all the articles I just read through, you can go to uh, our Twitter, which uh, our tw Twitter handle, Twiddle, our, our Twiddle handle is uh, at the Watchman News. You can go there and uh, please, please, or you can share the video when I get it up. It'll be up in an hour and a half or so because by the time I trim it down, um, it is what it is. But um, so either that will be coming out or, or it don't even have to be from our Twitter. Don't just share the information. Let your friends and loved ones know. When I was speaking to the neighbor, she had no idea that we were at this point in Syria. No idea. So there are a lot of people out there that just don't know. And it's important. Important. Just like going and getting bread and milk before the snowstorm. Right? This is the same thing. It's important. Even if it's little things. Right? What about the person that uh, put off shopping until the next day? Right? Right? Their cabinets are barren, nothing in the fridge, and they're, ah, I'll go tomorrow. Well, let's say they can't go tomorrow. When they would normally have a, a pretty well, decently stocked kitchen, they didn't because they procrastinated, right? So I'm saying, essentially, and 100% truthfully, you could save people's lives, without a doubt. So please let folks know what is going on. Please, you could be the difference in whether they can pull through this or not. So uh, as I've been closing up the monologue, uh, and the live show will continue, by the way. I'm just closing the monologue. Um, God bless you. We love you and be one with your spirit. We wouldn't be here if I didn't feel that from the very bottom of my heart.